This week we came out to Pupper Bluff to visit family and friends. Yes. And we're staying out at Lake Wapapello, mm -hmm. which is about 25 minutes away from Pupper Bluff, which is where everybody's at. Yeah. And that's where town is. <laughs> town. That's where you gotta go to go to town. <laughs> gotta go to Pupper Bluff. There's a couple of things out here. Yeah. And um, it's pretty out here. There's not a lot of RV parking in Poplar Bluff. No. And so it's nicer out here and it's quieter Quiet. out here. So yeah. this is our first Army Corps of Engineers spot. Yeah. Most Army Corps of Engineers spots don't have sewer hookups, but these do. And it was only $24 a night to stay out here. So it's a nice week out here. It's a little bit of a commute to go back to, to town. Yeah, but I mean, where we lived when we had our house. Yeah. That was a 30 minute drive to go to town. It was, so, so it's not that it's big not a deal. It's not a big deal. And the scenery out here is awesome. And it's yeah, quiet. It's quiet. Um, we mostly came to visit family and friends, but yeah. we're going to hang out and do some stuff too. Yeah. Um, we'll probably, um, we'll probably go, there's like a little Iron Horse Festival. Yeah. They're like, they big trains. They're big on trains. Tra yeah. They have like a, a train depot downtown. There was a lot of train activity through Popper Bluff, you yeah. know, even when I was a kid. So. Um, Iron Horse Festival where they have some like games and food and stuff like that and then uh, it's my niece's birthday yeah. tomorrow so happy birthday Peyton if you're watching. <laughs> yeah. All right let's see what we can get into. Okay. Popper Bluff's my hometown. I'm from here, so just going through town and seeing all downtown and all that stuff brings back a lot of memories. Yeah. And you couldn't really see it real well because the vendors are set up through downtown, but for me, going through there brought back a lot of memories. And then we parked it's like a block away from where I got my first haircut <laughs> at the barber shop because in Popper Bluff, it's called the barber shop because at the time, it was the barber shop. It was the only barber shop in town, so they didn't have to come up with a, a catchy name. You know, it was just the barber shop. And when we were going through town, when I looked over in this direction, it caught my attention. Yeah. This bridge, and I didn't even remember that I remembered <laughs> until I saw the bridge. But we used to jump off this bridge. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> when we were kids, into Black River behind me, and we wouldn't just jump off the the, the bottom part here. We would climb those all the way up to the top <laughs> and we would jump off the top of that into Black River which was looking back is pretty stupid you think <laughs> <laughs> but but I didn't die yeah. <laughs> still here and he, we at the time we didn't even know what was in the river or, how I mean deep. yeah how deep it was other kids jumped off of it so we jumped <laughs> off of it and um, see you're you're living proof of the saying if your friends jumped off a bridge would you jump yes through? yes he yes, would yes i would absolutely <laughs> well sometimes and i brought friends out here who had never jumped so sometimes i was the friend, friend. who jumped yeah. and had them jump yeah. you know so if your friends jumped off a bridge would you let us know <laughs> it was fun that's pretty pretty tall i mean looking now i'm like man that was pretty dumb yeah because that's very high and it's a pretty good drop. I mean, the water's even pretty good ways below the... Yeah, it is. I remember the high, the water being higher. So, you know, it might have been a time where the we had more rain more that rain year or whatever. But um, And we jumped off the top and we hit the water and didn't touch anything. 
in the water. So it's deep. Crazy. And then, um, yeah, I remember my brother Jimmy jumping one time, and as he's jumping, a snake. I see. Yeah, I've been coming. gone right there. And he's like, "There's no going back. Man, you, you got, you got to ride it out, man. <laughs> Try to miss the snake, and then you, when you come up to the surface, you don't know where that joker's going to be at, or pissed off, or whatever. So you, you like, fast. you like walking on water once you surface, <laughs> get back to the, to the bank. Um, but we'd do it all day. We'd, we'd go, we'd come out and we'd jump up, we'd go up again, and. <laughs> Sometimes the, the rungs would get real slippery from the water because we already jumped in and stuff. But we were dumb, and yeah. we just we just done <laughs> dumb stuff. I'm I'm surprised that we survived up to this point. But uh, anyway, uh, it's a cool little place out here. They got the vendors and stuff, and then they got a little car show and yeah, and band live band Mark out there Beans. playing. You can probably hear them in the background a little bit. But uh, it's cool. It's a little Iron Horse Festival out here, and it gives us a chance to to see some of the old memories. Yeah. Well, that was a fun week. Yes, it was. We didn't show a lot of Poplar Bluff or where we were at just because we didn't do a lot of filming. No, it was family kind. Yeah, we spent a lot of time with family uh, while we were there. But it was, um, so we did two back-to-back -back weeks of firsts. So a couple weeks ago we did our first city park. Yes. And then this was our first Army Corps of Engineers park. Yeah. And it was about a 20-25 minute drive to, to go see everybody every day. But it wasn't terrible. No. It was a nice drive. Yeah. Except at night. Yeah. Some of the nights were really dark and, and a little foggy sometimes. Yeah. So it was a little sketch. Lots of bugs. Yeah, because when you're driving back through there and between Poplar Bluff and Wapapella, there's no cell phone signal either. No. So it was like the perfect... Horror film. <laughs> oh yeah, perfect horror movie scenario. <laughs> like we're driving, it's super dark, foggy. foggy. Windy roads. Windy roads, no cell signal. No. And there's like, Nothing and there's on, there. yeah, on that road, there's a couple of those little creepo gas stations that are like abandoned now. Yeah. Like you see in movies, like some jumps out, you swerve off into the ditch, and the closest thing around is this sketcho old gas station that you gotta go yeah. try and, to find somebody. And you're like, hello? Is anybody here? <laughs> and then you see somebody, and I take off, and you trip, and you're like, save yourself. No, I'd be like, get back here and help me. <laughs> <laughs> Save yourself. That never come out of my mouth. <laughs> got to see the bridge I used to jump off of mm -hmm. when I was a kid. And you got to see some of my old houses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it could be like a coffee table book of houses. <laughs> the amount of places you've lived. And actually you got to see a couple of the only, like, houses. I lived in. Yeah. Because we lived in, in trailers a lot, a lot too. Yeah. And these were the only couple of actually houses, houses that we lived yeah. in. Um, and we got to visit uh, one of my childhood friends. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah, that was fun. And then we drove, one of the houses was, he used to live next door to us. Yeah. So we got to see where, uh, where we lived and where he lived and then we got to go spend some time with him and his family yeah. and hang out for a few hours and that was really fun. It was. So if you guys are watching, Brian, hi. <laughs> <laughs> the, actually the first house that I lived in, mm -hmm. in Poplar Bluff, is barely there. Yeah. That's it, no exaggeration. <laughs> it has it's barely caved in yeah. and things have grown in around it. I'm really surprised that any of it's still it's there. The, yeah. So you could see a little bit of it. During our initial route, we didn't book very many city parks or yeah. Corps of Engineers because they mostly are power and water only. Mm -hmm. We booked this Corps of Engineer park because it had, it had everything. It. Yeah. But now that we have the, the portable the dump, dump tank, tank. Yeah. I think that Army Corps of Engineers spots will, will be more uh, of an option for us now. Mm -hmm. Even though it is a pain in the butt to do it, um, if it's worth, if it's, if the view is worth it, we'll do it. Yeah. If the view is not worth it. Because the price is always great. Yeah. At the Army Corps of Engineer places. And if you haven't been to any of the Army Corps of Engineer places, um, they're really easy to check out. You don't have to be military. Mm -mm. Um, and if you are military or good Sam or disabled, I think there are some discounts that mm -hmm. you can get. Um, unless you just book online like we did. Yeah. But you can book those online, just go to recreation.gov 
and then plug in the nearest town or city that you're going to be going to and it'll show you if there's one around yeah and it'll show you what amenities they have what types of campgrounds they have um, whether they have like 50 amp 30 amp mm -hmm. back ends pull throughs whether they have full hookups or not this one had buddy sites which was cool it was cool um, camping yeah. with people so if you got somebody that you have uh, that has a camper too Mm -hmm. You can share a site. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, they had a few of those. Mm -hmm. They were very limited on pull-through sites. We got one of the only pull-through sites, yeah. and we were very far back in the back. We were the last site, and so we were really secluded. It's nice. And yeah, so we were way back in the back, and it was fun to be back there at night in the dark and then mm -hmm. watch American Horror Story. <laughs> that was, yeah, that's great. Spooky. Yeah, it was cool. Scout enjoyed it. He had a good time out there. He liked it. Yeah. yeah because there was lots of yeah stuff for him to watch yeah and so now we're headed to fort leonard wood but popper bluff it was great to have the opportunity to spend the time with family that we don't normally get to spend because we're normally there for like the weekend yeah it's it's in and out usually and and yeah normally not even weekend like you come in during the day yeah and you got that evening you've got the whole next day and then the next yeah, day you leave yeah and there was no rush to get out of there, no rush to do anything. We got to see family a lot. Spend, yeah, we spent quality yeah. time with the grandparents. That was nice. Yeah, which we got to do with my parents the week before that. Yeah. So we, two weeks in a row, we've got to spend more time with my family than we have in years. Yeah. Probably since I was a kid, since before I left home. I mean, yeah. that's probably the most time I've ever spent with them. Yeah, that since amount then. of time, yeah. So that was good. And we're kind of past the family thing and now going into the memory lane thing. Yeah. Because we don't have a lot of family... We have any family between here and Texas, and Texas other than oh, Oklahoma. Military, well, some military family. We, we consider them but, family. Yeah. You know, but, um, but yeah, family, family, we don't have any between here and Texas. So yeah. we're just kind of be sightseeing and, and going down memory lane and seeing some of the old stuff from our past. Yeah. So that'll be fun. <laughs> and Lauren has never seen some of this stuff. No. Like she's never seen Fort Leonard Wood where we met, married, first house, because by the time we left, yeah. And she was born in Hawaii, so yeah. she never got to see. She was Fort conceived in Fort Laramie, <laughs> born in Hawaii. Yeah, I want to hear that story. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> it's a fun story. <laughs> well, we appreciate you guys watching, and like we do every week, we're going to honor a fallen hero before we go. So stick around for that, and we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.